Um, okay. How do I make this door open? We've already been in there. That place doesn't matter anymore. How do we open this one here? Needs power in two areas, right? We've seen that. Interesting, because it has three slots. The three slots don't seem necessary. One pink and one blue is enough to make it try to open. And then any combination of that doesn't uh, keep it open. Like this blue means this part gets powered the whole time. I feel like I need a green one, actually. Let's see again. Oops, wrong one. Uh, here. idea how to get in there. Do I need a pink and a green and a blue? I mean, like, I only need two to open this, but the green and the pink are both intermittent. They don't keep it open long enough, no matter where I store them. No matter what I do to, like, bolster them by putting, like, two in one or something. It always closes the same. I'm thinking if I put a pink and a green, that's, like, the only way but I don't know if I can do that. We're gonna find out. There's a green in the next room, right? So we don't need any green? You can just steal one from there? Is that what we're doing? So I need what? This order then? Whoops! All 
Oh. Oh, but I need to be able to steal one, right? Wait, but now I have- fuck. God damn it, I wanted a green one. Why am I so stupid? Uh... So normally I've been stealing the bottom one, but what if I steal the top one? Okay, that worked. Okay. Huzzah! Oh. I'm glad we got to the same conclusion there, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so we're on the other side of the Chinese room. Is there more audio logs? I, why is it so dark? I can't even read these. If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You simulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. All right. Tom's got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay. I don't think he'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. Of course, I still can't read these. Yeah, the handwriting on this is, looks god-awful, right? Like, I know this isn't a language that I normally look at or read, but I mean, it looks like this person is... Handwriting's terrible. And I really, uh, <laughs> really wish I could read Chinese right about now. Why? Why can I pick up the... That was great. I'm glad they included audio logs because to, if, if it was me spending that much effort to break into a room where I can't read anything, that would have been pretty bad. So, I'm glad they at least included the audio logs so you get something. Okay. Anyway. Tom is saying, oh... If you can, if you learn Chinese from a handbook, you use it to communicate with someone on another side, doesn't that mean you can speak Chinese? And it's like, I don't know, you can speak conversational Chinese <laughs> within that extremely small context, but no, you cannot. I don't know. Alright, well this is not... Really not move it along, right? Let me see. Yeah. So this doesn't go high enough. And maybe same with that one. Definitely this doesn't go high enough. So there's obviously yeah. Tom, what can you do for me? Oh.
Ah, that's kind of funny. It was a little silly to make you do this three times, but whatever. This is slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. Not sure what the point is in me moving this, but I can move it. Anything else I can do? What a. Uh... Why? Oh. No, that still doesn't help me. I can't reach that. Plus. Why am I trying to do this? Oh, because that way I can aim. That way I can aim at the, uh... Where's the thing? Okay. Not quite there yet. We need to go a little farther. Close though. Can I target this damn thing yet? Really doesn't want to let me target it. There we go. All right, Gucci. Surprise! My character can jump that. My implants protect you from the power of your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basest desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others. Hey, where's Tom's thing? There we go. Oh, there's an upstairs. Wait, I can't. How can I, uh... How do I target it? I have to have the power in? Is that what the issue was? No, I still can't do anything. Off you go, buddy. Alright. Ah, oh, this blue. It blew my mind. Any second now. Come on. There we go. I oh, do not was understand that my your obsession with free will. 
Researchers have found that the subconscious makes decisions up to 10 seconds before your conscious mind becomes aware of it. So, we know that free will is nothing but an illusion. I cannot steal your free will, because it does not exist. I can, however, influence your subconscious to make the right decisions. That is not wrong. Huh. I wonder if that's true. That, uh, our subconscious makes decisions for us way before we, like, really think about it. And when we, like, sit there mulling over a decision... Well, I guess if you just end up doing what you thought of doing in the first place, then you're not exercising your free will, but I wonder if, like, you initially have an idea of doing something, and then you think about it and stop yourself suddenly. Is that free will at that point? That's what I'm thinking, is that if you, uh, if you just do what you initially thought of doing, then you're just letting your subconscious decide, but if you, if you suddenly stop yourself, because that'd be a weird subconscious thought to have of let me do something and then suddenly not do it like that wouldn't really make a lot of sense more food for thought hey i can steal this and put it here now i have a box wow great i love boxes he said like a liar. I need three power sources for that door. And right now I only have two. Um, oh, I need to open that door. How do I open that? Oh. Pretty straightforward actually. Uh, how do I open this door? Ah, okay. I get it. Oh, okay. Oh, but how do I get this? Um, oh, I <laughs> very clever, very clever game got me for figuring that out so quickly. Normally that would have taken me a little longer, I imagine. Alright. Cool. Hell yeah. Yep, this actually marks your progress. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten per... Ten across. There's five. It looks like seven down. Well, I have twenty more to go. You can't just manipulate someone's mind. Your parents manipulate you. Your friends manipulate you. Your society manipulates you. And your experiences manipulate you. Manipulate is not a dirty word. You manipulate clay to make art. If people are manipulated to make better decisions, then that is a good thing. This is why society advertises the adverse effects of drinking and driving. To manipulate people into making better decisions for the common good. That's not the same as altering someone's physical mind. It removes my power to decide. You never had that power. So it is better that I have it. You are either a slave to your impulses, or a slave to mine. Oof. Throwing down some arguments here that... I don't know, man. I don't know. You might be right. <laughs> it's a tough, tough one to argue here. Um, where... Do I have a Tom anywhere? Do I have to just... Oh. I interact with him from afar. Yes? Okay. What is that doing? 
bridge. Okay. Oh, do I even need that bridge right now? What do I do once I'm over here? Oh, same area. Okay. Um, where am I trying to get to ultimately? Alright, that's the question. This door right here? But I can go up here whenever I want, so what's the point of this bridge? Obviously this bridge is here for a reason. I can already climb up both. Or anywhere... Can I take the robot anywhere? Oh, right, he can... Well, he can he go up the stairs? Good ass question. I assume he can't use a ladder, but... Yeah, okay, going up the stairs is pretty easy. Huh. Oof. Okay, so the robot can't climb ladders. That's his weakness, right? He also doesn't do very good with edges, apparently. Not jumping. Feels like. Okay, so he really doesn't like it. I feel like we need a person to stand on the thing because, like, we need the bridge for the robot, right? The bridge is to get him across. Ah. The bridge is to get the robot across because the human can just take the ladder. There's no reason for it. So... The idea is just to get them both onto that side. Point of stepping on that, what does it do? I still don't know where I'm trying to get to exactly. That opens something on that side. I guess the point of getting the robot here was to get him out of this. I guess opens something for me on the other side. Is this door? Uh, okay. Whoa, what's this? This is the evil they found. This is why we have to stop them leaving Europa, Eva. What is it? 